Hi guys, PC Crypto here. This episode is the comparison of different languages for smart contracts uh, that are currently used uh, in the blockchain space. Uh, mostly I wanted to compare Move to Solidity to Rust. Uh, those, are, those are probably the most pretty popular languages right now. Uh, Solidity is of course used uh, within Ethereum. Rust is used mostly in Solana and Polkadot. Uh, and Move is uh, the new upcoming language used in uh, blockchains like Aptos or Sui uh, that I've talked about in the previous videos. So uh, I'm following this article from Pontem Network. Uh, they of course are building something with the Move language uh, and I wanted to showcase a couple of examples here. So basically uh, you have this table of different languages uh, basically with uh, and I wanted to go one by one. So basically you have the move, which is the newest language out of here, uh, only uh, developed in 2019. Uh, I will come back to that later on as well. You have Solidity from Ethereum. Uh, there's another language which is a little bit less known uh, called Viper. So Viper is super similar to Python. It's actually built with Python as well. Uh, if you remember, uh, the beginnings of Ethereum were that there were three different clients for Ethereum being developed, one of them being done in Python, uh, and that was the, the one done by Vitalik. So Vitalik was a huge proponent and a huge fan of Python, as I am, uh, because Python is just super simple language to use. It's not optimized, however, so you would normally use things like uh, C, C++ or Rust in order to have more optimized uh, programs in the end. Uh, another thing is uh, Go used in Neo or Hyperledger Fabric, C, C++ in, uh, done in uh, EOS, uh, Solana, but mostly you can use Rust also for Solana. So Rust is used in Solana, Neo, Polkadot, and a bunch of other things. Uh, Cardano using, is using Haskell, and there's the, also another new language called Clarity uh, that basically it's used in Bitcoin, uh, meaning there's a blockchain called Stacks 2.0 that's trying to build this layer two on top of Bitcoin. Uh, and yeah, th this is pretty interesting, but it's, that's a talk for a totally different video. Uh, so yeah, let's come back to the comparison between Move versus Solidity uh, versus uh, Rust. So first of all, on the list we have, uh, I think, Ethereum, uh, Solidity, as we have, this is the most standard language. Uh, it's pretty versatile. Uh, you, you can do many things with uh, Solidity, but uh, as well, you can do easily many mistakes. It's super easy to actually uh, trick yourself thinking that the contract does X while it does Y. Uh, that's why we have so many hacks in the end because Solidity is versatile, but at the same time, because of how easy it is to construct contracts, sometimes uh, it makes it easy also to make errors along the way, uh, which is maybe not a bad thing, maybe it's a good thing. Uh, it, it's a good question whether it's a good language for mass adoption. Right now it's the most used language, as you can see there's apart from Ethereum, uh, Binance Smart Chain, Tron, Polygon, because that's la layer two, a bunch of other blockchains are using that, uh, are using Solidity to, for their smart contracts. Uh, syntax is similar to JavaScript, it's built with C++, meaning it's pretty, uh, pretty optimized, pretty fast. Uh, uh, and yeah, th this was the initial language used for uh, for the smart contracts. It was the first language of its kind because basically, as you remember, Ethereum introduced the concept uh, of smart contracts in the first place. Uh, so that was the, the kind, of, kind of the first language that was used and built purely for, uh, built purely for smart contracts on Ethereum. On the other hand, we have, uh, yeah, there's different uh, pros and cons. On the other hand, we have, uh, the Viper, I don't want to talk about that, we have Rust. So Rust is, an interesting language uh, because it's actually used for other things than smart contracts. It's, it's a pretty popular language in the scientific community uh, because it allows you to manage memory pretty well and it's uh, people are going from Python to Rust in order to perform certain experiments, play around with data. So it's not only about uh, about smart contracts, it actually can be used for anything. And you have an, an example of a Rust uh, smart contracts for Solana here. Uh, this does, uh, this just prints hello world, I guess. Uh, it's a, a simple program, but meaning it's not just a smart contract language. Uh, so 
because m both Move and Solidity are smart contract languages. Uh, Rust is just a general purpose language that can be used for many different things. Uh, and as such, it's much more versatile, even more versatile than, uh, than Solidity when it comes to building uh, things. Uh, but also it can do many other things that Solidity just can't. So that might be pretty interesting. Also, if you were uh, coding before, you might know Rust already, so jumping onto like Solana blockchains might be much easier for you. Um, yeah, so Solana, Near, Polkadot are, are all using Rust. Uh, 2011, so that predates uh, Solidity. That was the, uh, the, the founding date. Um, yeah, there's a, a bunch of pros and cons here. Um, Generally speaking, there's a more like the, the, the learning curve for, for Rust is much more steeper than for Solidity because it's like the, the general language rather than just smart contract language. Uh, so it's, it might be hard, hard, uh, harder to learn than just learning Solidity in the first go. On the other hand, we have Move. Uh, let me go to, to Move. Um, where is it? Uh, the C, C hash, Clarity, that's for Bitcoin and yeah. Uh, move. So Move was developed uh, in DM. That was like previously named Libra projects or project of Facebook. They were trying to build their own cryptocurrency. So they started to build the whole, whole ecosystem and they built the language as well. So Meta, as Facebook is now called, uh, is known for doing things right in the sense that they have the great processes and, and working about working um, for, for example, uh, through working out the details of the new language was really, I guess, important for them because uh, you must remember that they actually did a, a lot of research around. They have this whole re research departments. They put in the open source code as well. So I'm pretty sure that they did research around Solidity or whether they could use Rust for, for, making, uh, for, for creating smart contracts. But for some reason, they came up with the new language uh, called Move. Uh, so I believe that for some reason then they weren't happy with the results that either Rust or Solidity were giving to them uh, and they wanted to create something new from scratch. Uh, it's really interesting because the idea behind Move is that you want to have uh, built-in security within the language. So you won't be able to make e easy mistakes that will make, for example, millions disappear on chain because of, I don't know, bridge hack or something. Uh, the, the small the small thing that, for example, anyone anyone can withdraw funds, uh, and you really wanted didn't want to have something like that in the end. So there's a bunch of things like that, uh, and Move is solving that by the way it's uh, it's constructed. Uh, so it's actually much less versatile language than Solidity. Uh, you can do you can do much less things, but on the other hand, uh, it gives you more security and. It might be pretty important when it, when it comes to the mass adoption of crypto uh, because in the end, I guess every one of us is pretty tired of all the hacks, of the, all the scams that are going on uh, that basically are using the fact that there are different mistakes in the code or sometimes you can click set approval to all uh, and everything disappears and stuff like that. Uh, so basically Move uh, does not allow things like that. The safety within the code uh, already makes it pretty safe. There are different safety measures uh, within the code, within the move, that makes it much harder to uh, basically to, to hack or scam. Uh, yeah, so, so it's pretty interesting. I'm pretty new to the move ecosystem. Uh, definitely learning it right now. Uh, I've been r writing different contracts in Solidity uh, for fun. I know a little bit of Rust as well. I'm coming from the more of the Python background uh, with all the data science things I did. Uh, but Move seems really interesting as we go on. Uh, and I'll probably be doing all, also different videos just about Move as well. Uh, so that's it for the comparison, basically. I just wanted to, I will link, give you the link down below to uh, the whole comparison done, done by Pontem Network. Um, I think it's really interesting thinking about how different languages uh, build smart contracts, what are the differences. Also, if you're just coming and be, want to become a, a developer, uh, well, probably the easiest thing would be to learn Solidity right now uh, or go for Move. Or if you are already a coder, then probably, you know, Rust, then maybe going after Solana blockchains. Uh, 
is, uh, is a good idea. Uh, there are a bunch of options, but if you're just starting, probably the easiest is to either Solidity or, or Move. Uh, and if you're already a coder, then going after Rust is probably the best idea. Let me know what you, what you think about it. Uh, are you coding yourself? What's your experience? Happy to learn that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and then see you in the next episode.